Hi everybody, happy Sunday. It's Miranda, your sexuality coach coming at you. How are you doing? Right now it's like super crazy windy outside and rainy, but I don't care, it's Sunday and I'm gonna chill. And right now I'm gonna chill with you. This lady, this lady, this video is actually for my guys out there. And ladies, you can follow along as well. But right now, I wanted to talk about how to delay your ejaculation. Now, this is something that's not uncommon. It's a question that I get quite often. And so I was like, well, let's talk about it. Now, don't fret. At one point in time, multiple times, there are times when guys are just going, and were you just going to come quick, guys? I mean, like, there's no way around it. But you also know that when you do come quick, round two always lasts longer. Two and three, those are the ones that let you last. So if um, you haven't seen your girl in a while, and you haven't masturbated, and you come quick, I mean, there's nothing to feel embarrassed about. It's like, okay, just give me a second, babe. You know, you get back up and then you're going for round two and it's like, I mean, she, she's going to be set. You're going to be set and both of y'all are going to be pleased. So don't, don't let that get into your mind because sometimes with the anxiety, you start to um, encounter performance anxiety. And then now you start thinking like, oh my gosh, it's going to happen all the time. And then all of a sudden it happens because you're just like thinking about it. So um, when it happens... Just take it as like some just one of those things. Um, now, for my guys that it happens to quite often, um, these tips will actually help you out a lot. Also, refer back to my video on penis breathing um, and doing your penis exercises because that in itself will help a lot too. So, let's get started into these tips. So, as stated, penis breathing, penis exercising, join your Kegels is a must. Um, it's definitely going to strengthen your penis, give you great blood flow, all the great things that you want with your with your penis. Um, but also at the same time, it gives you control. See, the thing about ejaculating quick is loss of control. Fellas, get control of your mans, okay? And once you turn around and learn how to control him, you will be able to control your ejaculate and not just let it flow out whenever um, whenever it, the, the mood hits. So definitely do your exercises. Uh, number two, when you are getting ready to ejaculate, when you feel like you're about to come, you do the pull, the pull out, the pull out and squeeze method where you pull out and then you squeeze at the top of the head like where it meets the shaft, so right below and you hold on to that for a few seconds and not even you have to do it your partner can do it too you can pull out let them grab it hold on to it for a few seconds and all of a sudden you're like okay babe i'm good and then you go back in you get some more strokes in and you can kind of, you can repeat that also another form um of this um is edging edging is when you get so um so engrossed into it to where you are about to come and then when you are about to come you pause you take those deep breaths and you breathe through it you let the sensation go back down and then you start having sex again and you continue to do this because this actually takes you into a orgasmic high where no you're not exploding but you are maintaining that level of highness um, until you are ready to explode does it last pretty long some guys can do it for quite some time and that's that's through practice and then other guys um they can only last for a little bit and all of a sudden they come totally fine of course um if your girl or your partner has not came yet and you are feeling like you are going to come best thing to do is start pleasing them start going down on them um whatever it is that you need to do to stop that friction because of course you know the friction and the wetness and that that motion is just going to get you wound up and you're going to come anyway so you have to basically stop it another thing is diverting your mental so you are starting to feel like you are come about to come again start breathing breathing in breathing out and not think about what you are in um, think about something completely different. 
and just slow down. Don't keep at the same pace, slow it on down. And then if you have to remove, just come on out with it. Hold on to it and then go back in. Another good tip to uh, prolong your ejac ejaculation is your the, the slapping method. When you pull out of your partner, take your penis and just slap it on them. If you're feeling like you're about to come and you're at the tip, pull out, exhale out, just slap. Desensitize that penis. Now, of course, you're not trying to hurt yourself, but you want to to kind of like give it like a little numbness to it, to like just kind of like shake it off. And then once you shake it off, and then you can go back into it ease back into it. Don't go back at the same stroke because you what's going to happen? You are going to explode. You're going to explode and then you're like, damn. But as stated earlier, if you do come, I mean, just always uh, round two. You know, just give yourself a little bit of downtime. You don't need a lot of that, a downtime. That's why if you do your Kegels and your breathing exercises, your downtime won't be long and you can get right back up and do it again. Um, but there's just some little tidbits, some little nuggets to give to you on your Sunday while you chilling, maybe in between halftime or after football. Um, and we will chat later. Don't forget to subscribe to my page. That's That way you can get the alerts when I come on and you can check it out. Um, or when I post something, you can check it out. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. I will definitely answer your questions. I, if you have any videos you would like me to make to answer your questions, I will also do that as well. Take care, everybody. Have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye.